You know, one of the most challenging things about building or restoring a vehicle are all those little things that sneak up and catch you by surprise. Matter of fact, that's one of the main reasons that most first-time builders get discouraged and give up on a project. Because it's really easy to get excited about an engine swap or about a paint job or about installing an interior, but it's also easy to overlook putting in the wiring harness or fitting door panels or installing weather stripping. And these are all integral parts of building or restoring a vehicle. So right now, we are gonna show you what it takes to build or restore a door. For example, this is an original door off of a mid 80s Chevy pickup. And as you can see, it's pretty typical of what you'll find in a junkyard or on a project vehicle. It's got a lot of damage, got a lot of rust on it. Fortunately, everything that you're gonna need to completely restore a door on most trucks is available from LMC Truck, including a completely new door shell. Now, whether you're restoring an old door or completely rebuilding one from new, the first thing you gotta do is strip the door, take everything out of it, fit it on the vehicle, do your body work so everything's fitting right, then you can start assembling the door. Here's how to do it. Now, as you can see, there is a lot that goes into a door. There's big stuff like glass, and regulators, but there's also a lot of small stuff and brackets and hardware that serve a specific purpose. So it can be a little overwhelming. So the best thing to do is to break it into three categories. The first being all the internal mechanical stuff, the latches, the hinges, the regulator. The second category is the glass, the weather stripping, the window channel. And then the third is the door panels, the armrests, the trim, everything that goes on the outside of the door. Okay, once it's laid out, the first thing to go in is the mechanical stuff, like the door locks and the latches, because they usually mount back behind everything else. The latch assembly is connected to the interior and exterior handles with special rods, and it's important to get those working right before you move on. The upper and lower hinges will get their final adjustment when the door is on the vehicle. So we'll just get them in place for now. All right, the next area we're gonna deal with are parts that have to do with the windows and the weather stripping. And replacing the door glass is always a good idea. Replacing the weather stripping is a must. And when it comes to the vent windows, you got some choices. You can either get the parts to restore your original piece, or you can get the whole thing brand new right from LMC. Now, since these are usually all beat up after years of abuse and replacing that rubber is pretty difficult, getting the whole unit is a pretty smart thing to do. First, we'll install the new metal window channel, followed by the outer door weather stripping and the window channel rubber. Then we'll install the glass into the new window bracket. and slide the glass into the door and connect it to the actuator. Finally, we'll slide in the vent wing assembly and bolt it all in, making sure that the window rubber and the window is fitting in the window channel properly. And it's as tricky to do as it is to say. Okay, at this point, the guts are in the door. Now it's time to do something about covering this hole, which brings us to the door panel. Now, obviously, there was a lot of options available for these trucks over the years, and it's up to you to cut the door panel to fit your application. Fortunately, all the cutting templates are right in the plastic on the backside, so all you gotta do is make some holes. So, we'll load up our door panel with the trim and the power window and door lock switches. And finally, install the door panel. Okay. 
And that is it. It's hard to believe that all the parts that were on this table went into that single door. Now, I know it seems there's a lot to this, and there is, but it's something that has to be done, and it's something you can do. So don't pay somebody to do this for you. Get out there and do it yourself.